My younger brother Sam and I played with our neighbors who lived down the hill from us. Now their mother was a member of a religious group that did not believe in eating anything that had any pork in it. But they would come up to our house and my grandmother would always have biscuits left over. And she made those biscuits with a big dollop of pure lard and then she would cook some side meat to go inside the biscuit. Those boys, when we were playing together, they would say, can I have a biscuit? And of course, Grandma always gave us biscuits, and sometimes she would decorate it with a piece of salt pork. So good. Those young fellows, even though their mom said, don't eat the pork, they would insist upon eating the biscuits and the pork, but we never told. But you know, the devil just throws a biscuit out there to us and says, here, this won't hurt you, this will be good for you. You'll enjoy it, and sometimes he'll even dress it with a piece of side meat and make it so appealing. The devil tempts us with that which we want and that which we think will be most enjoyable and most appealing. Did our boys, our friends, did they go to hell because they ate those uh, lard biscuits? No, but I'll tell you, if we snatch up the devil's biscuit that he throws to us, that can very well destroy our soul. Just keep that in mind. But the devil tosses out the biscuit and dresses it with side meat and says, here, this won't hurt. But if we yield to temptation, it will hurt, and it will destroy us. Leave the biscuit alone the devil throws out there. You don't want it. You don't need it. Thanks for watching Don Howell today's Light and Love from Liberty.